into the gap this time, and Bryce Baum is headed to third base. Sartori's got extras. Chad Kaye is not stopping Blom. This offense is in motion early, and the Aggies have the lead. Honer up the middle, trying to get in front of the center fielder, Christian Tejada. It does. Zach Deloach comes across. Leadoff man's been aboard for AM in each of the first two innings. They've scored in both times. Stuff up there. So he's a guy, he's always working, always trying to get there. Well, the work paid off in the third, didn't it? He struck out the side. <laughs> a lot of times, if you, you get a guy that stays out there for 25 or 30 pitches. Will Frizzell into the opening night air, and that is a grand slam. The guy they'll ask for the power surge brings it. Stevens coming in and he can't get there. Coming all the way home, Hunter Coleman. He drove go. that on the ground. Through the left side. Zach Deloach comes home on the Alejo base hit, 13th run. Tonight, the homer he has scored four runs. He's on his way to maybe beat the, the player of the week again. Well, he can't win freshman of the week anymore, no, so he's, right. he may look at player of the week in the SEC now. <laughs> Pitch out of the zone to Andrews comes back with three straight. Tejada at the plate facing Will Johnston. It's a chance for two. They say Ty Coleman is the best to turn in the double play, and he just showed you why. Pretty slick. Yeah. Worth to start their season taking on TCU. Up the middle base hit. Bryce Blom and Zach Deloach comes across the dish. For the fifth time tonight, the Aggies will tack on one more as well with Logan Britt behind him. Two RBIs for Bryce Blum.